Here's the question that came in. We need to run scripts from SQL Plus, which take parameters. However, we need those parameters to be optional, with default values to be used if they are not passed. We can't work out a way to do it. And it seems like a simple thing to do, and I thought I'd show you what the problem is and how to work around it. Let's say I have a script called my script, and I just want to let people pass in an argument, and as I'm sure you know, the arguments are numbered 1 through n, etc. So that might be something of, I want to be able to pass in an argument and run select that argument from dual. Very simple script. If I pass in an argument, like hello, then life's good. It runs fine. It says hello. The problem is, what if I didn't? What if I didn't pass an argument? Well, then the script asks for it. And therein lies the problem. If I wanted to have a default, I don't want to actually pause and ask for this. I want to default to something. Now, you might be thinking, well, OK, I can easily work around that. What I'll do is I'll put an NVL around it. So I'll do NVL. If you don't pass in an argument, then I'll use the word default. That seems an obvious solution. The problem is, even with NVL, the way a substitution variable works in SQL Plus is it says, if I don't know it, I'm going to prompt you for it. So it still prompts you. So I didn't pass in a value for that parameter number one, so I get prompted for it. Now, when I hit enter, yes, now I get the value of default, but I still got prompted. I've lost that thing of having an optional and automatic default. So the question is, how do we solve it? In SQL plus 23 AI, we have a new parameter called the argument parameter. And you can actually nominate. Argument one has a default of the word default in this case. So this pretty much solves this problem straight off the bat with SQL plus 23 AI. So now if I provide something, you can see like the parameter was provided, it says yes, the value was provided. If I don't, if I don't provide it, then it automatically picks up default. So we solved this problem in SQL plus 23 AI. The key thing here is SQL plus 23 AI comes with the 23 AI instant client, and that is available to use today for everyone, and you can use it against version 21, 19, et cetera, of your Oracle database. So it doesn't matter that the 23 on-prem version is not fully available for you. The instant client is and has been now for some months. So it's a good time to upgrade your SQL plus client such that you can use these optional parameters using the argument clause. Now, if you can't do that, if that's a big deal, well, there's this little hacky workaround. What you can do is this is, I call this MyScript19, which means this will work under the SQL plus 19 client and below. I define a column P1 new value one, and then I do this select as P1 where one equals zero. It'll always return no rows. And by a little quirk of SQL plus, what that means is, is if you happen to have something for ample one, you pass it on the command line, we will use it. Otherwise, because we have actually made a reference to this variable, variable substitution variable one, by doing this new value P1, even though this returned no rows, then we actually fall through and actually accept a default value. So now if I do provided, I get provided. And whereas before it would pause and wait, if I do default, it'll actually pick it up as default. So you can do it with this very strange bit of jiggery pokery. It can be done, but better off, just upgrade to SQL plus 23 AI, and it's much easier to use with the argument clause.